Hi folks, welcome back to CNC Modeler. Uh, we're looking at the second episode in the DIY tool changer carousel for my milling machine. Um, so hopefully you'll enjoy it. Uh, so if you do enjoy what you see here, do please subscribe to the channel. It helps everybody else find me. And it also, if you like the videos, it helps them find specific videos you think are good too. And if you want to find out more, hit that notification bell. As a quick reminder, we're trying to build this tool changer. Um, these are the drawings. This time we're looking at the arms and the actuation for those arms and some of the switching that goes with it. Um, basically, these are the drawings from Denford. So this is where we got to last time. So if I drop in the arm now, and uh, as you go down through, there's obviously uh, an arm that sticks out and some mounting equipment. Now this um, pin here is quite interesting. That's what actuates the micro switches. So there's a micro switch, and then there's an adjustable um, M3 screw that uh, you can use to figure out how that all works. And that ties in with the electronics, uh, the standard setup in the Nova Mill. Uh, as you can see, when we look around here, um, uh, it's all reasonably compact. That plate on the bottom, I'm going to machine from aluminium. Uh, some of the flexibility issues I've been having is uh, not great, so um, yeah, we're going to have to look at that later. So I also need, because I'm not using the standard um, Denford uh, actuation system, I'm going to use a pneumatic RAM, I need a bracket for the back of that, so this is basically half of the bracket and the IN to go on the end of the pneumatic RAM. So there'll be a pair of the um, uh, sort of hinge assemblies there that will screw together and the bracket will bolt back to the back of the machine as you saw in the picture. Uh, so first test, it's all a bit violent. Um, so the speed's not too bad and that's governed by the air pressure. It's a double uh, twin direction um, stroke, so it's powered in and out. So what I did was add some of these uh, uh, dampers that you can buy for doors. So I've got one on the extension side and one on the retraction side. And then if we look at that in terms of how that makes it run, this is all uh, a lot more civilized. So you've got the uh, actuation of the switches on the top there that uh, run it. So I can go up for manual and down for auto. So the auto side will be slaved into the uh, machine itself. So with that done, I'm quite happy with the way this is moving along. Um, it all seems to be going all right, and uh, I'm getting it all tied in with the original electronics. So I hope you enjoy what you're seeing. I'm trying to do these um, a little bit shorter, uh, basically because it's Christmas and I've got a lot on, and my 3D printer's playing me up. So if you do like what you see, please do um, subscribe to my channel, maybe have a look at the website, and uh, check out my other videos. Uh, so thanks very much for watching. See you again soon. Cheers.